Hi, I'm Dave from Military Antiques Toronto, and today we're going to be discussing pickle hobs, also known as spiked helmets from World War I Germany. Some of these are mine in my own personal collection. Some of these are on the website presently. So if you don't see them, sorry, I'm not really selling them. Uh, today we have three cavalry helmets. We have infantry helmets and one artillery helmet. Now, most helmets you find are in this condition. This is another Ranks Prussian. Missing cockades, which are the colored circles on each post on each side. Missing the chin strap. These things fall off in transport, so you don't get them all the time. What you want to find is one with a liner, the proper cockades, which are not reproduction, reproduction chin strap. Try and always buy original if you can. Um, they're also usually, for other ranks helmets, unit marked on here. It's usually a black ink stamp, which unfortunately due to time, it wears off. This helmet uh, here is well marked to the unit, 8th Train Battalion or Train Battalion 8. It still has the liner, still has the original cockades uh, and chin strap in this case. Most chin straps are leather such as this. The senior NCOs and officers have metal chin straps, which you'll see on these other helmets here. This is a other ranks chin strap, which you'd see on this helmet, obviously a different pattern. Um, so the difference between the spike and the ball, ball is artillery, spike helmets are infantry and everybody else. Um, the, this is another ranks helmet here, but it's made of tin instead of leather. So all these helmets here, excluding these ones, are all made of leather. This is made of tin, known as the Bing helmet. This one is not a Bing. There's two types of helmets in tin. There's three actually made in World War I. Um, but the Bing helmet, which is a toy company, which is very similar to this, made this type of helmet. This is called a kid helmet. And the reason it's called a kid helmet is it was sent to the front lines, to the troops, and they were assembled at the regimental area for whatever size they needed. So they get all the parts and go, here you go, put it together and off you go. This is Prussian. Um, it's got a missing liner because of course they all rotted out uh, for that time. You know, they don't last because they're not taken care of normally. It is maker marked inside. Unfortunately, that is illegible because it was just an ink stamp and it's gone because of course, when you take it off your head, you put your finger here. You don't take it off with the spike. Um, the officer's helmet, the, the difference between another ranks and an officer's helmet is the little brads here. They're domed for other ranks. There's stars for officers and senior NCOs also. For one year volunteers, as an example, you could have the spikes on there, sorry, stars on there. Uh, stars and stars and then non-stars. In reference to this one, this has a Waterloo Bandau. Bandau is a battle honor. So this regiment existed uh, during uh, the Waterloo campaign, the Napoleonic Wars, and they had a Bandau added. There's different Bandaus. They make them a lot more valuable uh, than a standard, say, Prussian one, which has no bandeau. But try and find them. Uh, we'll deal with this one last. Uh, this is another officer's. <clears throat> this is a, I have the tin for this. You'll notice also the spikes are larger on the officers compared to the other ranks. I guess they were trying to use them as targets to shoot at because no one likes officers, of course. <clears throat> the liner on these is silk. They usually rot away. So don't be surprised when they're not there. This one's been taken care of because I purchased this with the uh, carry tin, uh, transit tin, which the officers would have made to put their, store their helmet in when they're not wearing it. Um, this one here is an Oz, A-W-E-S maker. I believe this is the one. No, nope, I lied. Uh, this is the Oz, sorry. It has a nice little paper label still in there, A-W-E-S, that you can see, and it says a size 57 and a half. So that's the size of the hat, helmet, whichever. Also, this is a field cover for this artillery helmet. They just go over for when you're in the field, they take the spike off, the ball off, sorry, which does unscrew so that you're not as much of a target and it doesn't shine. Um, these are cavalry helmets. This is Saxon. These two are Prussian. This came in this way from the family. For some reason, the head of the eagle has snapped off, been snapped off, however you want to phrase it but it is what it is and it's the way I received it. The chin strap came that way and it was loose always. It's clearly marked inside C. Junker, 1916, right there. 
They are usually marked as such for the maker. There's the liner again. There's a maker right there, but it's almost illegible because it was painted over because that's what they did uh, for the inside. This one's the Saxon. Again, there's the liner, 1915, I would say that is, and also the size of 56. And the liner's there. Notice the cockades on the side are much bigger on these cavalry helmets than on others. So that'll give you an idea on the size and they're significantly bigger. Um, this helmet here, well, you have to be careful of the reproductions. Um, I bought this helmet when I, uh, well, my wife was having some health issues and I wasn't paying attention and I paid a lot of money for it from a dealer in Florida who's very well known. I tried to return it, he wouldn't let me because he said it was a consignment item. So um, be careful what you buy and who you buy it from. There's always unscrupulous people. And the funny part, I've given a lot of money to this one dealer over the past 20 plus years. And I mean a lot of money. Won't take it back. I personally, if I sell you something and you're not happy with it, I don't care if it's today, tomorrow, or next year. Bring it back. I don't care. I'm, I'm here to sell the stuff and make you happy. If you're not happy with it, my goal is to make you happy. And so send it back and I'll refund your money. It's not a problem. It's not an issue for that, but not everyone works that way. So why is this fake? Well, the crown's wrong for starters. Um, I didn't notice this till weeks after, but whatever. Um, the chin scales, the leather has been totally redone on the back of it. The liner is totally redone. Um, this is not proper liner, and I wouldn't have bought it if I had seen that. The, if you look at it, you can see the extra material even. Um, if you look at it, it's just everything about it, it's it's just not right. Um, this is on my website. I've left it there purposely so that people know the difference and see the difference about how it's not real. It's artificially aged in my opinion. Um, the cockades are not right uh, at all. They've been done up. The plate is not right. Someone's added this on top. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I guess live and learn. Please be careful what you buy and who you buy it from. Make sure it's original. Make sure they have a return policy. If you're not happy with something, then try and work it out with them. But that is my small collection and also my stock of pickle hubs at this time. I hope you enjoy that. Hope you have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.